It's been two years since I started the first Road to Supersonic Legends series, and Rocket League has changed a lot since then. The level of play through the ranks has increased significantly, so I think it's time to go back through the ranks and see what I can do to help you guys learn how to improve your own gameplay. But like I said, Rocket League's changed a lot since 2020, and it isn't available on Steam anymore, so unfortunately that means I can't do custom names and pictures. So I made a brand new Epic Games account, and Epic Games really do be making sure that I'm not a bot with this insanely difficult human test. I almost failed. I'm going to start off the series with the 2v2 playlist, and then move on to 3 so you guys can get a contrast in playstyles and learn how to adapt to both game modes. Now even though I can't use a custom name and profile picture, I still want to do a meme of the day for each episode, so make sure to drop a comment of your favorite name and picture. To start the series off with a banger, we have Joey's Suggestion of Rentals, which is just a perfect name to kick off the series. So let's get into making this masterpiece. Alright, so I have all my assets ready in Photoshop, we've got the background here for rent, and then I've got a businessman, and then I've got rentals. Actually, I already cut him out. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and combine this head with this guy. We'll see how we do. First off, I'm just gonna grab his head here, copy and paste that, and then I can start to erase this man's head. All right, so let's just start with, with that. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> That's not bad, but he's really dark. So let's, let's do something here. That's better. I'm just gonna clean up his head a little bit, even though I don't know why I'm doing this. It's not necessary. All right, not bad. Just got to adjust for inflation. All right, I'm done. Hope you guys enjoy this one. This is a pretty funny one. Like I said, leave a suggestion if you guys want to get the next name and picture on the comment on the screen. And uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this one. I think it's pretty clean. Let's get right into the games. Hope you guys enjoy. I forgot you have to do this. All right, let's grab the octane, of course. Oh my gosh, this is new. <laughs> okay. It's throwing me into a bot match. Aww. Epic Games. If you're going to throw me into a bot match and improve your training, at least get rid of some of the settings in the cameras. Wait, there's a rule one in mid? <laughs> what are you guys doing? <gasps> I broke it. It's funny because Rocket League actually doesn't let you leave this game. I wonder what happens if you lose. Does it make you want to install the game? <laughs> I don't know, but let's. we got clean sheet as an... Uh, Achievement. As you can see, our name is RL Cartographer for this account. But let's jump into the first games to see how it goes. Um, we're just going to talk through it. And basically, uh, I can't score. That's the big catch. All right. So as you can see, we... Oh, no. <laughs> as you can see, I cannot Q-ranked. Why did I not check this before? I forgot they did this. I got some work to do. Oh, no. I feel like people don't know how to play the game down here for Heat Seeker. I'm... I don't know what to do. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm talking in game. <laughs> Wait. Brazil! I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry, all these players. I hope that gets me like at least like four levels. Three? No, I only got, only got two levels. XP boost. XP boost. XP boost. XP boost. Dude, am I really buying this on this account? Why did I buy this? <laughs> it's a brand new day. I'm finally level 10, so we can finally play competitive. Like I said, I haven't played any of the matches yet, so we're gonna jump into our very first three games here and uh, finally see how it goes. This has been the most eventful start to a road to SSL ever in the history of Rocket League. So let's jump into the first three games and hopefully I can teach you guys a thing or two about how to improve. All right, game number one. We've got a full squad. Uh, we got Savage HUD against Ulisman and Ant Antonio. Um, but yeah, biggest thing is that we're probably around gold off the start, I believe, the MMR. So right, right from the get-go, I'm already gonna be trying to position in a spot where I can follow um, my teammate. So I'm just trying to get a read. I see my teammates pushing up. And like I said, the rule is I can't score. So I'm gonna try and set him up as much as possible. So what I'm trying to do right now is just sit close, <laughs> sit close to the ball and uh, and be part. Yeah, oh, nice. Keep going, keep going. Good save from them. So once I see the ball push uh, towards my side, I'm just gonna use a bit of boost to go behind the ball and just get a good position. You can see that Savage is kind of always just following around the ball, trying to stay with it, but he's always gonna be a little step behind if he doesn't um, stick with, with the play. So I'm gonna just try and pop this up. And stay close. So I'm just going to get a 50-50. Oh, he's got it. All right, I'm going to sit behind him. Once again, it's in the it's in the wall. So no matter what, whatever you do in the corner to challenge, it's going to go off the wall into a position that's going to be dangerous for you. So it's better if you just don't even go for the ball. So I'm just waiting. You can see out of the players that are in the field too, I'm the one who's spaced out away from the play. 
And I, I'd still, th I'd say right now, I'm not really playing at the level of a gold position wise. I'm obviously not doing much with the ball, but even positioning, I would say like on average, people are going to be a little more, more all over the place. You can see my, my, if I, it's actually maybe an interesting thing to go into ball chasing and like see like the amount of time I am behind the ball versus everyone else in the, the lobby. I would imagine I'm probably going to be, oh no, I can't score. Save it. Get it. I score. I scored. All right, guys, this series is canceled. Unfortunately, I lost on the first goal. Um, I'm not going to cover a lot of the basic mechanics because um, I did a lot of that in the first series. And if you want to watch that old playlist, a lot of people say they still watch it to this day. Um, uh, that it's, it's still helpful to them two years later. Oops, my bad. That was my bad bumping my teammate. So a lot of what I'm seeing so far from everybody in the lobby is what they're doing is they're tapping the ball once, but they're not able to control the ball because they keep boosting too or bumping too fast past the ball. So you can see he hit it really hard, but then he didn't slow himself down. So what's good to do is just to make sure you always hit the ball hard, but then, oh, oh my gosh, this guy's insane. It's always good to like hit the ball hard, but then also make sure that you, your car doesn't go um, too far. Like see how I'm sitting close, but not letting the ball go, go behind me as I hit the ball. I'm gonna wait for the shot here. That's a really good shot. Good pop. See my teammate can get the touch close. I'm kind of carrying my teammate right now from that goal, but he's actually got a lot of points and he's getting involved quite a bit. I'm gonna go for a 50-50 here. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay. This might go over my head here, so I'm just gonna wait, wait uh, behind my teammate. Good boost grab, nice pop forward. So I'm gonna try and go underneath the ball. This guy's going for an aerial. That's actually a really good touch. Oh, I'm gonna stay behind right here. This guy's gonna challenge, so all I want to do is get my body behind the ball. Bye bye teammates. <laughs> um, nice, good, good position from uh, Ulysman there. Or I don't know, I don't know how to say it. Really good pop. So I'm, all I'm gonna do is just get in the way, double jump. See, Savage wants to get the ball. Nice touch. He's got an open space. Probably very low boost though, because I haven't seen him get like a boost pad or anything. So I'm just gonna stay behind. See, I'm at 100 boost. I don't need to worry too much. I can also just loop back here and wait for the ball to get close. I don't need to do anything too crazy. I'm moving at a very slow pace, but everyone else in the lobby is moving very, very fast. But being a step ahead in the game is going to be very, very helpful. Once again, Savage Touch is trying to make a touch. Once again, I keep saying once again, but like, see how no, there's nothing too scary. That's actually a really good bump from them. Uh, his teammate unfortunately missed the ball, but I'm taking a back seat compared to my teammate who's trying to make those extra touches. I'm gonna get beat here. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna go in for this. Did I score again? It, the series is chalked. <laughs> okay, so I can wait for this to bounce. Yulisman's pretty far away, and my teammate is under the ball, but I'm going to back off just because he's under the ball again. And just stay in the corner. Make sure I stay near the ball. Good play by my teammate to go up the field. You should stay close to this. Sort of pressure their last man. Once again, this is a pretty good setup here. Nice. So I could go on this because I am first. I can pop this off the wall, for example. My teammate's stuck in net, so it's a little scary for me to go. Once again, I'm just behind the ball, and I have enough time to turn around and uh, stay with the ball. I'm I'm still making touches that are too consistent and too strong for this rank, I would imagine. But I'm trying to get a good feeling. For, it's been a long time since I've played at these ranks, so I'm trying to get a, an idea of where to position and what to do with my teammate. He's trying to make it a, a good effort on the ball, and I, I do see what he's trying to do. A lot of times, like, um, he's just, like, pushing on a ball that doesn't need to be. Oh, it doubled up. Nice. Um, he's pushing on a lot of a lot of balls where he doesn't need to be going. Um, there's also a big thing about first and last man, especially in 2v2. It's way more important in 2v2 than it is in 3v3, and, and still really important in threes. But the biggest thing there was I was just trying to stay present on the ball. And, and you can see I didn't move too much in the game but i was the one who has the most stats and you know seems to have done the most in the game stats aren't every, aren't everything obviously but yeah i didn't I, I didn't feel like i did too much i feel like honestly those two goals were kind of just forced errors 
off of their uh, poor challenges. I didn't really try to shoot towards the net and they just ended up going in the goal. So uh, I, I didn't really do a good job of explaining that game. I'm going to be honest with you and I apologize because I was just flabbergasted that I scored the first goal of the series when I said I'm not supposed to score at all. And I knew this was going to be a problem leading into the, the early games here is that like we may, I don't want to trap people in a game. And if like I'm playing good enough defense, which I'd, I'm not going to try and play like, you know, SSL level defense in a gold game, but you know, I'm just trying to show you how you can position. Oh, my teammate's not here. I'm trying to show like how to position. Um, this is gonna be really hard to score if my teammate goes AFK. Oh, he's back. He's back. Good. Okay, so that'll happen quite a bit. Like your teammate will just bump you off, and honestly, like be the bigger player and just kind of let it happen. So, I see them all trying to go for it. My teammate's ahead, so he just needs to get out of the position. He's trying to like correct himself to go for the. Axel. Wow. <laughs> This has been the most scuffed and chalked SSL, road to SSL so far on the start. I'm pretty sure every other, other, every other one was pretty good um, for the first few games. But I'm going to back out here. did a little half flip. I mean, that's definitely not a skill a lot of players when they first start off have. So I need to stop being so... I'm really trying to like get myself in the mind of a player who's ever played before. Like, So I'm still positioning like way behind the ball. My teammate's trying to stay with it. The biggest thing I'm noticing so far is people like... Um, Oh no, don't score again. I'm gonna like actually like miss this on purpose. There we go. I feel like I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know how to get in the mindset. I'm trying to get in the mindset. I'm sorry. Good pass back. So he's just pushing on this. Good try. Okay, he's going for it. I honestly think I could just let these two 1v1. Oh, well, this could be bad for us. Good catch. I like that. He's, so th both these players like have a good mind for the game. I can already tell they're like, they're positioning like, in a good spot they know when something's dangerous um the biggest thing though is that they're just not ever relenting and going back and getting out of position like even there he went for like the wide shot this could be good what a save i'm literally like i just managed to get myself into a, like a, a lobby of a gold 1v1 this is <laughs> this is something else oh that's a good setup Coming up the walls pretty hard for caesar good try so what uh, wiser could have done there is actually waited for caesar's touch in the net because once he pushes the ball um, to Caesar, he has to make a play or else it's going to go across his net. So you know he's going to have to force it like back towards the corner or bring it out to mid. And like as you get higher level, that's going to be more apparent that people will take advantage of the fact that like knowing the risk that it's going to take. I'm not going for this because I feel like Caesar doesn't know I'm not playing. So I'm going to try and stay away. I just want to watch this. What? Oh. Good try on the control. Oh. Nice. Good save. Oh, he missed the setup. So yeah, I can get around the ball and then set up the, the play around the field. Oh, good break check there. I like that. Oh, he's got a breakaway. Oh, no. Their accuracy on driving is like pretty good. It's more so like their break checking and, and their their momentum, like how to carry their momentum into the play. That just takes a lot of time, but this could lead it uh, roll around into the front of the net. Let's see what happens. Big miss. Nice. Oh, it's open. Open. Nice shot. There we go. Awesome. So yeah, he took his time. He knew he had a play. Caesar was backwards. He drove under the ball. See, that's it's, it's all about that timing. I'm not going to go for this. I mean, we'll see what happens with this kickoff. Nice 50-50. So yeah, um, a big thing is just timing. Like people, um, when they start off the game, that, that was the biggest struggle for most players. Is getting That's a nice little pop. I'm um, getting used to the timing of the ball. And what a finish, too. Okay, this guy just leveled up his gameplay. It's all about the timing. And half volleys are a super, super important key thing to learn early on. Like, being able to control the ball on a, on a dribble and everything is going to be really helpful. All right, so that's game number two. Um, you know, interesting second game. We got a 1v1 on our hands. I just sat there and watched that. I, I only touched the ball five times. Um, let's move to the next game. This is a bronze match. Really? I mean, I mean, yeah, the, like, it wasn't, like, the highest level gameplay. I'm actually surprised that it's in bronze. I thought Rocket League put me at gold on average. But as I was saying, uh, you're going to find that these half volleys, like, just these touches like this, where you can keep the ball close to you, is going to be really, really helpful to force a player into the play and put them out of position and make them uncomfortable. Um, if you look at pro play, the way that um, players use their space is to always make sure that when they have the ball, they have the upper hand at all times. Um, and that's keeping an eye on your your um, 
your uh, your opponents and making sure that you always just put yourself in the shoes of where they are and what they would be uncomfortable with and basically just doing that. So I'm just waiting in mid there. I'm just going to stay close. Oh, it might be in the net. Oh, this guy, really good dribble. Now, there's a big contrast to... to um, oh, I think he's afraid that that guy's a smurf. He's got a, a diamond tournament winner? This guy's like half... This guy's like... Um, wait. Okay. I have a feeling we might have a smurf on our hands here. I mean, I, I am a smurf, so... This guy's like full on like playing really fast. This guy's like not diamond, I think. Maybe he is. All right, let's stay back here. Yeah, this guy is definitely not at this level and I'm just gonna try and stay close to the ball. I can't score though. I don't know, you guys let me know. If we run into a Smurf like this, who's definitely like just trying to like take advantage of the system, like do we, uh, do we still like play the rule of like we can't score? Oh, get him. Whoa. I don't know. I feel like I can't. I don't know. If I, can I play faster here? I, this is this is uncharted territory. <laughs> Good play. I don't think my teammate, uh, he can reach that. Let's see if he can get there. It's tough. Good try. Thank you. I don't know what to do. I'm confused. I'm dead. I feel really bad because like... I don't know if I should play at the level of this guy because he's like straight up just like playing at a way faster pace than anyone else. And you can see right now already like Kemmel and Dark Catchy, like they're unable to get near the ball. Like he's just playing way too fast for them to read it. Yeah. So I think I think I'm going to give myself a pass. <laughs> okay. And I'm sorry if you guys don't like that. I, I don't know what to do. I, I mean, I don't need to win the game per se. But I just feel bad, like, that this happens so much. Like, where people are playing super fast. Um, and just take over the lobby. Like, it's not fair. Yeah. No, no, no. No, no, no. My teammate can get in there. Close. He's up. Should be okay. I think my teammate can get there. Close. All right. Time to pull the big guns. No, I messed up. We got a goal. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I, I honestly don't know what to do in this situation. I, hopefully, you guys can tell me in the comments like what I should do. Like, if someone's like. Truthfully exploiting the system. There's no way this guy's a diamond tournament winner and he's down here. Like that's definitely an account that he's been playing on like quite a bit. And has purposely put himself in bronze. Like that doesn't seem right at all. Oh, I missed. What I'm going to do is get the game to even. And then I'm going to ask the guy to not play and let them 1v1. Duke it out. And see if, uh, see if he'll agree. Why are you here? I don't I don't know what to believe. I'm so confused. I think he's going to if we if we're playing like full defenders here, let's see what happens. Uh, this is so interesting. All right, so I'm going to do is I'm just let them let him touch the ball here. Good try in the corner. That's that's, that's a fair enough question. Uh doing road to SSL. But why are you here? <laughs> I don't actually know what's happening. He still hasn't answered why he's down here. This is literally... Br I'm pretty sure this is actually literally bronze. I will let this game end either way. I'm not going to touch the ball anymore. So there's an open net right here. See if he can get back. It's a good try on the shot. Kemal has some space. Went past the ball once again. That's just a, a situation where you just need to be careful with uh, your timing. Wait, why is he, why is he bumping me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, open net. 
Good 50 50. Low champ. Nah, no way. This guy doesn't know where he is. Something ain't. Something ain't lining up. Good try. Good try. Oh. Nice finish. It's time to do some investigative work. All right. Epic Games. Affy Tron. Estimated tier division. Since this player has not played Rocket League recently, Cyanox has removed their tier and division. As a result, this player is currently unranked. Okay, okay. So he doesn't have his rank. I don't I don't know. I, I guess. All right, so it does say that he only has bronze level uh, two wins out of 10 for this season. So he's only played like 12 games or well, 12 wins. And it looks like this is the streak. So he's just not played on this account before it also looks very very new but he is in champ and and diamond and this is his supposed rank so far he's on a win streak of three so he's just going through the ranks i mean i have no idea he, he did said he did say he plays on this account for playing with his friends so weird okay fair enough all right we're doing one more game because i i cannot describe to you what has been going on but we're gonna be playing one more we got amz kid sweat and uh a team of kel kel 30 and mushy paint and once again, we have a player who is not moving. So I'm going to try and go behind here, wait for the ball to come to me. Oh, never mind. My teammates got it. I got to remember, I cannot score. Let my teammate go for it. It's a good shot. Oh my gosh. That guy's going out for blood. Let's stay close to the ball, make sure it pops up. I got to stop doing that. No! Okay. <laughs> I've already looked so troll, I just saved the ball. But oh, that's a good shot. Good save. I could have saved it, but that's a really, really good shot. And uh, I honestly overcommitted. I probably shouldn't have recovered as fast as I did. And see, you can right, right there. I boosted forward as well. That's a really good finish for them. Now I did, I did. Shoot, I need to stop popping the ball towards net. But you can see how um, potent it can, it can be if you hit the ball towards the goal um, on a half volley. You just keep the ball really high, especially at a low rank. But this is, um, it's gonna work out really well. I'm gonna pop this middle. See if my teammate can get forward. Good pop. Good try. I'm last man. He's first man. So I'm just going to stay back here. Over his head. Nice try on the finish. See if we can get there. Good try. So I'm going to support him when he's popping off the wall there and pop it up nice and high again. Good try. They could shoot this. So I'm just going to sit back and stay behind the ball. And then I can just bring it to the back corner by uh, basically angling my car in a way that I become a wall. That can push the ball into the corner. I know this is going to be a little bit painful to start for people who are a little bit higher ranks, but I've been having fun so far. I hope you guys are enjoying this. It's uh, It's been interesting. Once again, just staying behind the ball, letting my teammate uh, rotate back. He could have looped. What he could have done instead is looped out this way wide around me and then set up in middle uh, for me to help him out. Let's see what he does here. He's going to pop in middle. I, unfortunately, this is not very good for us because... Um, see if he can get there. Can he get there? Finish it. Nice. Good finish. Um, it's gonna be hard when like you have a teammate who's chasing, uh, the ball the whole time. Um, because a lot of players don't really know how to rotate yet. And it's just like a learning experience. There's a lot, a lot of this game has to do with positioning. And I've said that a lot. You guys know that my gameplay is always, uh, centered around good positioning and good, uh, decision making. And unfortunately, like you just have to adapt to certain play styles. Um, with your teammates like right now he's in ahead of the ball and he's trying to hit the ball no matter what which is fine but i just need to make sure i i read that and um basically just get in a position that will work for him uh and they are your teammates supposed to do the same thing as well so that's what makes a good team that's what makes rocket league fun for me as well as is, is like just getting used to um good positions and not playing too fast. You can see playing too fast is going to put you out of position a lot of times. So the best thing to do is just to be ready for what your teammate is going to do. And and that takes a lot of predicting. And sometimes you predict it wrong. It's just going to happen. But the more you can do that, the better player you'll become very, very quickly. Like me knowing now that he's going to do that kind of stuff is good. Because I'm going to wait for him to hit the ball back on the corner. And uh, even in the SSL games, I do see some players, I just don't expect what they're going to do, and they throw me off, and I do the same thing. I throw them off, and it's just a matter of mitigating those mistakes as much as possible. What a finish, too. Really good touch from him. I'd say so far it's been pretty eventful, but this has been the most normal game so far, and people are moving pretty fast already. 
I mean, the fact that we're winning games, we've actually lost a game, so it's going to balance out quite a bit. Um, my team went for it anyway. Um, and who knows? Maybe in this series we'll end up running into some uh, ranked bots. Like, not not like bad players. I mean, literally ranked bots. Cause I, I know it's becoming an increasing problem. Oh, they're bumping each other. So I can wait for this to come out of the ground. I'm watching Kel Kel here. He's up for it. So I'm just going to go for it as soon as possible. So this is going to lead around the corner here. I can just follow it and check the middle by using my right stick. And to see if I have space. So this guy completely ignores that I exist, which is fine. I just need to make sure I'm I'm ready for that. Good try. <laughs> he like does not care that I exist at all. He just is not phased by my existence. I'll pop this middle. Hopefully he can go for this. Good try. Oh, he's passing. I'm gonna fake. I'm gonna like fake this. So I'm gonna try and go for it. Oh, 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 oh! What a save! <laughs> Good try, teammate. So what I can do is like, I can pop this towards the wall and then stay very, very close. And in doing so, it's not too dangerous. And even here, like leading this to the back corner will give me a lot of space to play with. It, as you can see, just staying close. Honestly, the biggest thing that would... Oh, my gosh. Bumper cars. Oh, what a shot. What a finish. <laughs> okay, we're going to overtime. I did not expect that. Um, got bumped off the ball by my teammate and then bumped off by Kel Kel too. Just a perfect play. I can't remember what I was saying. I'm so mind blown that that just happened. So I'm going to go for the kickoff. Flipping forward is going to be the best way. This guy does not... Like, he does not play any differently no matter... W I mean, like, left goes may not be a thing down here. So I don't know why I'm saying that. You probably didn't know that I would go. My teammate's still under the ball, so I still can't quite go. I don't want to go on anything. That's too dangerous. Popping out nice and high. Good try. So yeah, don't... I'm not saying that, like, I'm not trying to trash on this guy's playstyle. Obviously, like, he's trying to go for the ball, and he's making some good touches, and he's scored. Um, but the things that he can improve on is just being uh, a little more off the ball to give his teammate a little more space. As you see, like, he's already trying to get in the way right now. He's going for it, and he finished. <laughs> okay, so yeah, like in this in a perfect world, like he could give me a little more space. He did, you know, score some goals. Um, it's one of those things where he's equally making it difficult as much as he is also like equally carrying. But I would rather be a good teammate that you know plays around uh, other players and makes sure they're involved and makes it easier for everybody to read on for their team and make it as difficult as possible for. The opponents but it seems like we're already in silver uh silver one here or at least we're on the cusp of getting there i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this first episode definitely an eventful one we finally are able to play ranked which is great uh, it took me an entire day to get to level 10 so hope you guys enjoyed like i said until next time have a great day and i'll catch you guys in the next one